Please welcome Leila Motley. Welcome to The Daily Show. Thanks for having me. Uh, you, I, you cannot thank me when you are, by most people's accounts, the biggest rock star in the world of books right now. I mean, you're 20 years old, but then I read the book and I was like, th th this is not possible. It's one of the most amazing books I've ever read. And then I realized that Oprah also thinks the same thing, and you were on her book club at 19, youngest book club for Oprah ever. Uh, like, how are you doing this? New York Times best-selling <laughs> author, Oprah Winfrey book club, author to watch, author... Let, let's start with that before we get into the book. I need to understand, how did you write a book like this? Because you started at 17. Yeah, 16. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm an overachiever, what can I say? <laughs> I love it, I love it. But you really have a, a, a beautiful command of not just the words, but the storytelling in the book. Uh, what made you think, even begin to think, that, you know what, I can write this book in a way that everyone will connect with? I mean, I think really it started with wanting to tell a story of teenage black girls and give it the validity and respect I think our culture doesn't often give teenage black girls. I wanted Kiara's internal world to be this rich, nuanced place and to have the complexity that I think a lot of people don't expect out of young people. You did that a thousand times over. And, and, and just to give perspective, yeah, just to give perspective to those who don't know the, the, the plot. You know, the book is about um, the main character, Kiara, and and you write a story that is inspired by one of the most harrowing stories that America saw, and it involved um, a young girl in Oakland who was victimized by the police mm -hmm. department. And just tell us a little bit more about that and then how you, you, you thought of turning this into a novel that could tell mm -hmm. a story for everyone. I mean, I'm always surprised to hear how few people know about this case. But in 2016, in the Bay Area, a case broke where a, a young girl was sexually exploited by many different Bay Area police officers. And I was a young teenager at the time. I'm born and raised in Oakland. Um, and, I, yeah, um, and I remember being really struck by the way the media talked about this case and the disproportionate focus on how this case might impact the relationship between the police department and the community, it might damage the trust as mm. though it was ever there in the first place. And I think um, I was wondering, what about this girl? You know, what about the impact for her and the systemic harm to young girls, particularly girls of color, um, and, and this particular iteration of police violence that I think a lot of us don't often talk about. Especially when it comes to sex work. You know, I. I I learned things in this book that I don't think I actually knew. I don't think I concretely knew. They seem mm. obvious, but I didn't know. Um, and and some, some of them are more harrowing than others. You know, you look at the history of sex work in America, and then you look at the exploitation of sex workers and non-sex mm. workers alike, and how often black women mm -hmm. experience the worst atrocities at the hands of law enforcement, which, which, which is a strange, strange world, you know, to find yourself in. The book seems like it's only going to be painful, and it really mm -hmm. is. You know, in, in parts you, you cry, and then, and then you, you, you go on this journey. But it also seems like it's about hope. It seems like it's about resilience. Is that something you, you, you worked to achieve? I mean, absolutely. I think we dehumanize black characters if we don't see them in their entirety, which means we have to see them in moments of joy and moments of grief and moments of, you know, mundane things like making pancakes or taking a nap. Like, we have to be able to see that in order to see someone as human and invest in them and, and their world, really. You see that and you feel that, you know? It's, it's, it's the, the, the main character, Kiara, and I don't want to spoil this because I think everyone should just read the book we see her in a position where the world is not taking care of her, and yet she's able to take care of somebody else. And, and as we read through her journey, what I appreciated is how you so aptly encapsulate the experience of many black women, not mm -hmm. just in America, but in, around the world, you know, where they are expected to be the protectors, the mm -hmm. providers, and, and the nurturers, and yet nobody seems to be doing that for them. Yeah, there's this long history of black women and black girls being put into the role of caretaker and being um, kind of asked and forced into taking care of everyone around them, which, which implicitly makes it so that black women can't take care of ourselves. We don't think about ourselves first. Um, and I really wanted in this book to show how black girls are vulnerable and allow us our fragility, allow us to be soft, allow us to, to be whole and complete people. It's a beautiful story. Yeah, definitely. It's... 
I think it's a beautiful story, not just because of how you've written it, which is truly amazing, and, and because of the story it tells, but because it makes the character a human being. It is a bad time and a bad thing that is happening to a human who has so many more layers to them. You've written this book, everybody loves it. I mean, you're a poet as well. It feels like you, you're at the beginning of life and yet you've conquered everything. What do you hope to achieve in your storytelling going forward? I mean, I think I always want to tell stories of black girlhood and, and what it means to have our narrative sidelined. And I want to put those into our, our common idea of what this country is and who we are to each other. You've already done that. You're going to do it even more. Thank you so much for joining me on the show. You're an absolute pleasure. Congratulations. Mike Crowley, one of the most fascinating rides you will ever take is available now.